You're watching Let's Chat. Well, as your student heads back to school for this fall semester, you may be thinking of ways to help them with some confidence, focus, maybe even some self-discipline. Well, we have just the answer for you this morning. So joining us to give us all the details are Senior Master Greg Roy and Grandmaster Rick Hall, um, martial art instructors. Thanks for joining us. That's great. Great to Happy be here. Happy to be here. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about, you know, as students head back to school, really, you know, what being involved with martial arts can do for the students. Well, we try to talk to the students about going back to school with an educational attitude. They're coming off a summer break. Their self-discipline may be a little bit mm -hmm. uh, waning at this point in time. So we try to make sure the students understand that it's time to go back to school. Look for the good things you can find in school. Don't think about going back to school. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like that. Look for all the positive things you can find in your classroom and in your school. And a lot of people may think about, you know, martial arts, and they may think of just the the physical side of it, but it is so much more than that. Will you elaborate on um, the physical and the spiritual side of it as well, or the mental and spiritual? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's it's about the focus. I mean, teaching our children in our program how to focus their eyes, their mind, and their body are certainly going to help them focus on the on the lesson being taught, not be distracted by what's going on around them. Mm -hmm. So it really works on their being able to learn by listening. And really, how does that work? Is it part of the teaching method that, that, that you incorporate in the studio that can translate over to the classroom? Or Well, martial arts is an individual activity. It's not a team sport. You are focusing on what you're doing, what you're trying to accomplish, what you're tr the belt you're trying to earn. Mm -hmm. And so it's, you're not distracted by what other players are doing. You're not distracted about what a score. You are trying to develop your own skills. By doing that, now they're learning to focus on their body, moving this foot, moving that foot, moving the other foot. Children that have trouble staying focused, children with ADD, ADHD, hyperactivity, thrive in a martial arts environment because you put them on a, just for instance, great sport, but a soccer field, and it's chaos, people running right. all around. Now they're focused on just what they're doing. They don't care what the person next to them doing. They don't have a position to fill. They can just learn and go with their own speed and their own pace. Right, focus on that task at hand. Exactly. Uh, and so a lot of people wonder if, you know, martial arts is maybe right for their student or if they're right at the right age. Is there a, a sweet spot age or grade level wise to, to get a student enrolled? We have a, a preschool program called the Tiger Cubs. They start at four and five years old and they're starting to work on agility and balance and coordination. They're doing drills, uh, learning to use left and right side. Uh, they have sayings, mom's way, dad's way, teacher's way, the right way. Mm -hmm. So they're learning obedience pledges. They're learning tenets of Taekwondo, like the character traits. So yes, I think uh, starting them at a preschool age gets them ready for kindergarten, preschool. Uh, we have male instructors that work with them as well as females, so they're not with just a lady instructor, a teacher all day long. That gives right. them a variety of change. Absolutely. Now, are you ever too old to start? No, never, <laughs> never, never. I just had a gentleman come back from Birmingham, Alabama, and I don't want to give away any ages. But he trained with him, with his instructor in Birmingham. Oh, wow. Some many years ago. He's testing this Saturday for his black belt. How fun. Well, now, you're mentioning, of course, that we're, since we're heading back to school, you know, this might be a great time to get some students involved and enrolled. Um, but you've done a little bit of work related with the school system um, that's not focused really on physical. We're all talking verbal here. Yes, you know. Confidence. You want to build confidence in children. One out of children, one out of five children, statistically, have problems with bullying in school, mm -hmm. and the bullies tend to pick on children who allow themselves to be picked on. Just right. be honest with you. If this, if they pick on this child, he stands up for himself, or she mm -hmm. stands up for themselves. They move on until they find somebody missing that confidence exactly. level. Exactly. Right. So first, you build confidence. Mm -hmm. you, then you give them tools to work with. Verbal skills. If some children don't like to look people in the eye, some people don't like to look people in the eye. So you give them the magic spot right between the eyes exactly. to look at. And that begins to change the way they interact with other people. Now they're looking here, don't say that to me anymore. I don't want to hear that anymore. And you mm -hmm. walk away. But you have to stand up for yourself. It's all the body language and the verbal. That's yes, exactly right. Okay, so how do we need to get in touch with you if we want to um, enroll in one of the classes? If a student wants to come in, let them come in. Try a couple of free classes. There's no charge at all for that. Bring the child in. Anything less than four years old, a little too young. Mm -hmm. You never, you don't build confidence in children by setting them up to fail. Right. You build confidence in children by setting them up to succeed, making it tough. So four and above. Come in, try a couple of free classes. No charge. Our, he's in uh, East Brainerd. I'm in Hickson. We've got schools in Fort Oglethorpe, on Signal Mountain, and Athens, Cleveland, 
Dal uh, Dalton, all around the area. Uh, Google us, you'll find us. All right, so Google us, find the location nearest you, um, and give you guys a call. Uh, do you do classes on an on-rolling basis, or do you have set times where you start a new, uh, new class? Balloon and new students in all the time. All right, perfect. Good to know. I love a rolling enrollment. <laughs> thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for telling us how we can be prepared with our students heading back to school. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. go ahead and give them a call, and even if you're not a student, if you're a little older like me, might as well get involved. It sounds like fun. All right, we'll be right back on this chat.